The OSC College of Fashion Lagos is Nigeria's internationally recognized school for fashion art and designs. Fashion from ages past has been an aspect of culture that evokes the very spirit, nature and power of the people that own it. The Nigerian spirit and culture has always been its very vibrant, colorful, flamboyant and an irrepressible one. Chief Mrs. Chade Thomas Pham, who is notable for kickstarting the Nigeria fashion industry and from being the first to own a boutique in the country, set the pace for the Nigerian fashion industry in the 1960s and 1970s. The OSC College of Fashion Lagos mission is to train, develop and support its students to become celebrated fashion entrepreneurs. It's a bridal corset. I, I actually made it with um, a satin. It was my first trial ever. Then I did it with a bustier cut, with the patterns and everything. Then I insected bunnies inside of it just for the corset. These are the back looks. No. So then I, I'm actually making a, a fabric rose to design it. I also made this. This is one of the salutes. This is one of her class projects. This is one of my class projects. And then so. what we pride ourselves over is the finishing. Yeah. So if you look inside, you see how it's really well finished. The zippers are fixed there. Yeah. The standard Everything. way you should be finished. So the inside is neat, neatly done. And before you and know then it, the fabric the roses. Next Vera one. <laughs> This is my first male shirt. I did it yesterday. Yeah. With the guidance of the teachers and the videos that they show us, they were teaching us. Because you can see it's not your normal local standard. As for a first shirt, you can only imagine how the second and the third could be. So it can only get better. The school founder and principal, Olushola Babatunde, talked about what drives her to establish OSC College of Fashion. For me, it's a calling for me. It's something I noticed right from when I was a young girl that I'm gifted with some things that comes to me more naturally than to others. So I took time out to really you know, look inward and meditate and pray on what I'm supposed to use those talents for. And I realized that okay, I had a dream and I saw a big school where I was training people in different departments. We're doing different crafts and different skills were, were being taught in the school. And I saw that I was teaching a girl how to sew and I asked the man that was showing me around how come I, I'm, I'm teaching her how to sew, I can't sew. And he said, when you wake up, you go and learn. So I woke up, I was working in an NGO then and I resigned from work and I went to learn. So, and that's how it started. The school manager and proprietor Akudo Arago echoed the founder's thoughts and displayed some of the works the school has produced. We have different levels for our school. Our, school, our levels run from level 1 to level 6. Our level 1, which is, we call it the SMO Corp program. The SMO program, you have nothing to do with the patterns. It's usually for factory owners that want to employ us, our students, our, our alumni to work with them. So we teach them how to do proper tailoring scenes. You have to so, know how to tailor different types of scenes. And at the end of the program, you should be able to couple a shirt, a trouser, and a skirt, children's wear, and all that. I wanna thank my God for blessings and letting me go, na na na. I wanna thank my fans for support and letting me blow, na na na. Lord, I give everything to you, my life and soul, na na na. I wanna thank my mom for bringing me into life, na na. I dedicate everything to you, my fans all over. This is what you learn in the textile and design class. You get to learn this. Actually, it starts from it starts from the foundation. They start with this using the cardboard. So they go on to other areas using the cardboard. It advances to this. After learning the different the different types, knowing how to sew your different types of scenes neatly, 
you now use it to couple a shirt like this a male's clothing like this it has to be neatly done and neatly finished to our students with different how to blend different types of colors and also how to dye their fabric so this is being made by students you see now go they do um, and i could do everything i can i know go slow First of all, it's God. As I said, because I know it's a calling, I know failure is not an option. Opting out is not an option. I've always thought and I've always said that I want a business that will outlive me. I want a business that can function without me. So processes have to be put in place, procedures, curriculum, everything has to be put in place. Just like a bank is run, the way a law firm will be run, that's how you know, the school has to be run. So even if I'm not here, the place goes on. The students also share their opinions. of standards especially as in you will not find so many schools teaching pattern from the scratch and not so many tailors know how to use pattern and the pattern really helps you to get into the detail and so something that is up to standard when I say up to standard I mean the international standards. OAC College of Fashion is one of the best fashion schools we have in Nigeria here exactly one of the best we are taught everything we could think of how to you know what it means to make pattern you know out there people don't really understand uh, what it takes to do clothing pattern and just um, uh, then manipulate styles with a pattern people don't really understand what it means but in fact OAC has taught us the best it's a good school good school for pattern making and other design we have um, the illustration class the illustration class is very good it enlightens you as in allow you to know how to actually make a croquis like if you want to design your wares you can see it in a body as in human shape before doing it and see how it looks like it. I learned about OST from a friend that went to this school before and I, I, I saw what it could do and I thought okay this is a school I should go to and when I came here for um, the very first interview I saw um, what attracted me was the fact that the owner of the school was also into the business so she could actually impact so many things and teach me um, about the cha challenges I will face when I'm also going into the business so for me this is like the best school. This fashion illustration I think has really made me um, believe what I used to hear that if you don't, if you cannot illustrate, you cannot make out a good dress. And since we started this uh, illustration, I've been very, very impressed. You know, it has made me realize that you must be able to put it in sketch first and have all your dimensions before you can make a good dress. Their teachers have something to say as well. is where you measure on the figure yeah. then you plot it on the paper to get the actual fit of the person's um, garment and it makes it fit well so you can correct all the errors and the mistakes on the paper before cutting it on the part on, on the fabric the first thing it's you don't make mistakes while doing pattern 
when you cut them free and you make mistakes and you use pattern drafting to do a mass production line. So for example, we have the free and tailor, they cut one by one, but when you use pattern, you just place the pattern on your fabric, you can fold like thousands, then you use the industrial cutter to cut them at once, so it saves time and you don't do mistakes. And you have um, the same garments on thousands of the, I mean, sorry, the same style of design on the garments. Fashion illustration is the communication of fashion through drawing and color. We train them on different levels. On getting, get, there's a theory part, there's a practical part. The theory covers colors and rendering and how to make collections in full. And then the practical part, we teach them on how to make croquis. Croquis is a French word for a quick sketch. So we take them from that and how to dress them and make a, a proper collection. So every designer should be able to communicate your ideas. And this is how you communicate your idea. You, when you have your, an idea, it's important you know how to put it down on paper before uh, production. It is extremely important. That's the most important thing that sends, no, that would send the message out to the clients, send the message out to people to know that you're different. That's what will stand you out. That's like the unique selling point we have here. The attention to detail is very key. You know, I say this thing in surgical precision. I picked it up from one of my past employers and he says, like a surgeon, the way the surgeon is you know, of precision and that's how fashion too is. So you have to pay every attention to the minute, you know, minutest detail and ensure that the, the piece comes out as a master OSC College of Fashion is committed to the empowerment of the Nigerian youth, especially women, through its various vocational entrepreneurial development course and the personal mentoring programs. The curriculum was developed by me, specially developed, but based on the industry standards. I am well trained, I'm trained in the UK, I'm trained in Nigeria, I'm trained in India as well. So when I, each time I go for any of my trips, I come back, I ensure that the curriculum is updated to what the private sector needs in the factories, what is needed in the fashion industry to be able to play internationally. Your, the curriculum has to be of standard, so we teach that here following what you know, other schools internationally um, teach. We use, you know, this is a Natalie Bray test book. This is what we use, an imported test book, is what is used all over uh, the world in the fashion, top fashion universities. This is what they use in training. As far as I'm concerned, it's the best book. I don't know them from anywhere, but I've noticed that whenever I teach from this, this method, they are able to produce anything. Anything, being native, English, Chinese under underwear, whatever they're able to produce them accurately. The institute offers training in a conducive environment with modern industrial machines, classrooms fully air conditioned, and can seat 60 students. Hostel facilities are also available. You could send your relatives, family members, or that neighbor you really want to help. Instead of just sending them 20 pounds, 40 pounds every month, what we do is we have a special scheme where you contact us directly, you tell the person to come here, you pay to the school, we do a daily report, a weekly report of their, um, of their improvement or what they're doing. We send you pictures, we send you emails. During their graduation, if you can come, you come and see what they can do. We've had past students like that. We've had parents who are abroad and their children are here. Send the child here. We also ensure that they come to the class regularly. When they finish, we showcase what they can do through the graduation um, show and fashion show that we also um, organized for the students. So all the people in the diaspora, if you're looking for how you can give back to people in Nigeria, we have a scholarship scheme where the students come here to learn and you can pay you know, so a monthly payment towards that and if you can afford the lump um, payment you also get a discount for being able to do that and that way you're teaching them to fish instead of just always send me money send me money that they keep asking you to do and you know in the, directly you are helping your um, country to grow back home <laughs> 
OSC College of Fashion is situated at number 11A at Johnson Crescent. Harmony Enclave by James Oluleye Street of Adenye Jones by Echo Bank, Ikeja, Lagos, Nigeria. Website oscollegeoffashion.net. Email address info at oscollegeoffashion.net. Phone numbers plus 234 or plus 234 OSC College of Fashion, grooming world class entrepreneurs in the art and business side of fashion. God for blessings and let me go. I wanna thank my fans for support and let me go.